Hi guys, so today I'm going to be filming something super exciting. I'm going to be sharing with you some new fragrances that I'm completely in love with. So as you guys know, I review fragrances as my job, so I often get to discover a lot of new fragrances quite frequently. And guys, I just got back from Cannes a few weeks ago and I discovered so many incredible new fragrances that I cannot wait to share with you. So I have 10 fragrances here that I cannot stop wearing, that I'm completely in love with, and I just had to make a video on this specific topic. I know I just did this video a few weeks ago, but I wanna do it again because I need to share with you guys some hidden gems, some fragrances that I've never heard anybody talk about that I need to share with you ASAP. One sec, my dog is gonna do a pee. Ollie, Ollie. Something that I wanna tell you guys before I start to talk about the jewelry and how obsessed I am with it, is that I have never taken on a collaboration with a jewelry brand, with a pillowcase brand, with any other brand. And I am certainly not hating on anybody else that does. It is just something that I felt very strongly towards since I started my channel. I only wanted to ever do a sponsorship or a collaboration with fragrance brands. I didn't want to cross promote industries and be talking about, you know, a shaving device or a facial cream or whatever in a perfume video because for me it just doesn't feel very coherent and it just doesn't make that much sense to me. But when this brand came to me and wanted to do something, I said, send me a few of your pieces and I want to wear them and see if I actually love them and then we can decide if we want to work together. And guys, the pieces, I have not taken them off since I got them. I am obsessed. Every time I go out of the house to go to the mall or I go for dinner or I go out with my partner, I put on their pieces of jewelry because they're absolutely stunning. Something that I did want to mention about the brand is they use lab grown diamonds and also 14 karat gold. Sometimes they do some promotional offers or they do a free gifting and I just think it is fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead quickly and show you guys a few of the pieces, but I am totally in love with it. Just trust me, you guys. I would never take on a sponsorship or or agree to do a collaboration with a brand that I actually didn't like. That is something that you can 100% believe in me for. I will only talk about products that I genuinely love. And this brand, I am totally head over heels in love with. And I want all of the other pieces on their website. They have beautiful necklaces, beautiful earrings. I need to get more of them in my life ASAP because I am totally obsessed. So I just went ahead and changed out this side because I felt like wearing this piece, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. Whenever I go out, my go-to right now is wearing the ear cuff mixed with this piece right here. And what's really cool about this brand is that you can interchange all of the pieces. So you start out with the studs, which I have been wearing just by themselves and they are just stunning. They're so simple, very classic, and I love a beautiful like stud earring. I think it looks very elegant, very timeless, and very classic. And then you can go ahead and mix and match your different pieces. Like I wanted to wear this one today, mix with the ear cuff, or you can wear the piece that I just showed you before, the beautiful chain like this, then you can mix and match everything. And I just absolutely love, love, love the brand. So guys, I'm gonna have the website linked in my description box in case that you're interested in having a look at any of the pieces that I have or just the brand in general. I can 100% stand behind this jewelry brand and tell you that it's beautiful, it's amazing, and the quality is totally worth it. So just wanted to talk about it today and I'm very, very excited for you guys to check them out because they're beautiful. Now let's get into the fragrance video. So the first fragrance that I'm completely and utterly enamored by is La Perla Possibilities. Now I have mentioned this one in my previous videos. I am totally head over heels in love with this fragrance. I don't know what it is about the scent, but it is so addictive. It's a beautiful floral fragrance, but done in such a sexy and sensual way. What I get from this fragrance is a sweet, smooth, slightly powdery, musky floral scent with a slight woody dry down. It is just magnificent. Really a magnificent floral fragrance that is addictive and very, very sexy. It's sweet, it's slightly powdery, it's floral, it's smooth, it's woody in the dry down. It is just 
a 10 out of 10 fragrance and I mentioned it in a previous video, but I got complimented so much by this fragrance and I got a compliment from Alberto Marias twice and other people from the fragrance industry. So people, they smell this fragrance and it immediately captures people's attention. It's just a 10 out of 10. So I am completely obsessed. I am completely in love. I mentioned it before, but if you could tell me, Demi, you have two fragrances to pick for the rest of your life. It would be this right now and Vibrato from Suspiro. Those would be like my two for life right now. So absolutely obsessed with it. The hype is real on this one. Try it. Trust me. You will thank me later for this fragrance. It is just perfection. Next up is a fragrance from Memo. Now, it might not be what you're expecting. Maybe you're expecting me to talk about Lali Bella or Granada or something like that. Very typically feminine. It is not. It is African leather from Memo. This is a recent discovery of mine. And let me tell you, I am obsessed with this fragrance, completely and utterly obsessed. If you're a woman and you're watching this video right now, and you have similar taste to me, you like to kind of wear fragrances out of the conventional box, try African leather. This is sexy AF. Pierre and I, we actually went for dinner last night. We got a delicious burger. So we had a little burger date night and I wore African leather and he could not stop complimenting me on this scent. This is spicy. It's a bit green. It's very resinous to me. I don't know where the resinous vibe is coming from, but I definitely get this very resinous feeling to the scent. It's also quite ambery. It feels like a resinous, ambery, spicy scent. A little bit green as well, and it is just incredible. I think you have some cardamom, you have some leather, you have some geranium in there. But I'm gonna be honest, it's called African leather, but I don't really pick up much leather in the scent. And I'm not mad about it. Like I'm not mad at all because I don't really like leather that much to be quite honest. I love what they did with African leather. A resinous, spicy, ambery scent that is just extremely sexy. And also what I like is that it kind of still maintains a fresh aspect to it throughout the entire wear. Fantastic for all of you ladies watching me that like something a little more different, perhaps a little more kinky, African leather. And for all the men, just go ahead and get it. <laughs> you should have this one. Next up is a fragrance from one of my new favorite brands of all time. It is Stefano Luca Isra and Mirage. Now this fragrance, you guys, it has to be one of my top three from the brand, period. Isra and Mirage is incredible absolutely incredible especially for the cooler weather these fall and winter months approaching you want something comforting something warm and sweet and cocooning right here you guys it's mind-blowing this fragrance you guys it's smooth it's sweet it's spicy, it's very creamy and rounded it's a bit powdery it has a really beautiful kind of sweet musky feeling overall. I would say if you like Musk Ravageur from Frederick Mull, you would be absolutely obsessed with Israel and Mirage because they definitely sit within the same universe of being this kind of sweet, warm, woody, powdery, creamy, uh, musky fragrance. And it is just to die for. I think there's some vanilla, some heliotrope, some musk, woods, it is just wow, wow, wow. A very luxurious, comforting fragrance for the fall and winter. It really smells luxurious, you guys. It smells very refined, absolute 10 out of 10. Like I said, it's definitely in my top three from Stefan Amber Luca. It is absolutely perfection, this fragrance. Next up, we have Mandol from Sora Dora. You guys. This brand I discovered in Cannes, thanks to my friends Nico and Manon, if you ever see this. Hello, I love you guys. This brand they were talking to me about for several months and actually a few other people that I had met from the fragrance industry were telling me, Demi, have you tried Soradora? Demi, you need to try this brand Soradora. And I could not find it in Dubai to try it. So I finally got to smell the fragrances in Cannes and let me tell you that the hype is completely deserved and I was kind of scared that it would be underwhelming when I smelled the brand but it is not the fragrances 
are magnificent. And this is one of my favorites. I have about four favorites from the brand and Mandol is one of them. And you guys, you really need to check out the brand and this fragrance specifically because it is absolutely addictive. This is a gourmand lover's dream. A gourmand lover's dream in a bottle right here. There is tonka bean, there is heliotrope, there is caramel, there is a boozy note in here. There is everything to make this fragrance the perfect gourmand lover's fragrance right here. It is absolutely a 12 out of 10 gourmand scent for the fall and winter. It's very sexy, very addictive, and very strong and long lasting. It is magnificent. I can say nothing else about it. It's sweet. I definitely pick up this almost slightly suede leathery note, which I do believe there is suede in the scent, but ever so slightly. The leather and that kind of leathery tonality is not overpowering because like I've said many, many times, I'm not a leather girl. It's not my thing. In this fragrance, it's just done perfectly to give the fragrance a little bit of an edge and to kind of cut those gourmand notes so it's not too much and too heavy. It's sweet, slightly powdery. I almost get a little bit of like a cherry facet to it. I'm not sure where that's coming from, but it is addictive. Very, very, very addictive, you guys. Sexy, addictive, gourmand lover's dream right here. Mandol from Soradora, an absolute love for me. It was a love at first sniff. It's still a love for me and I cannot stop wearing it. <laughs> so next up, we have a fragrance from the House of Oud. And I have smelled pretty much the whole entire line from the House of Oud. And this has to be my absolute favorite by far. The fragrance is called Ruby Red. First of all, you have to appreciate the bottles of the House of Oud. I think I've never seen anything so creative and so cool as the bottles from the House of Oud. But the fragrance, this fragrance, you guys, Ruby Red. This fragrance has ginger, it has tangerine, it has a lot of tuberose, it has some vanilla in there. I think there is even some candy ginger in here. But this fragrance, you guys, when I smelled it, I was mind blown by the scent. Absolutely mind blown. For me, what I get is a very smooth, spicy, sweet floral scent. Very smooth, very creamy, very luxurious. It definitely has a spicy kick to it and a little touch of freshness, but the tuberose in here is just stunning. It's not overbearing. I would not say that this is predominantly a tuberose fragrance and you will actually find it hard to pick out the notes in this scent. Personally, when I smelled it, I couldn't even pick up what was in here. I get a very smooth, creamy, spiced fragrance with a little bit of a freshness in the top and it is addictive, very sexy, very luxurious, very date night appropriate. And it is just a 12 out of 10. So if you guys wanted to check it out, definitely check this one out. It is totally worth it. And like I said, I've tried the whole brand and I definitely like several from them, but this is hands down my favorite, Ruby Red from the House of Oud. Next up, we have a fragrance from Nishane. Now this fragrance is for all of you watching that love something very niche, very dark and very, very oriental. You have to try Favonis from the House of Nishane. Now this is their Harrods exclusive and it's very, very expensive. But if you wanted a fragrance in this type of genre, this is one of the best on the market for sure. One of the best Rose Oud fragrances that I've ever tried, period. And I mean it when I say that, this is one of the best Rose Ouds that I've tried on the market. It is so dark, it's so sexy, it's so oriental, it's dry, it's incensey. The rose and oud play so beautifully together in the scent. It's very rich, it's quite woody, very oriental, I cannot reiterate that enough. There is a slight sweetness in there, but ever so slightly. It's more of like this dry, slightly spiced rose and oud with a very, very woody feeling overall. And it is just incredible, you guys. Like I cannot wait for the weather to start to cool down, throw on a leather jacket and spray on this scent. 
oh my god it's gonna be show stopping i've worn it several times now and i am completely in love with it and like i said for me as far as a rose oud combination goes this is probably the best of the best that i've tried this is a show stopping fragrance if you wanted something like that and you can spend the money a little bit more try Fabinus from Nishane because it really is a 12 out of 10. So next up, I have a fragrance that I actually included in my discovery set with Joe Boy, which I'm gonna say something right now and let me know what you guys think. I might be doing another discovery set with them for Christmas. We're talking about it right now. I'm going through the samples and seeing what I wanna put inside. So let me know if you guys are gonna be interested in that. Anyways, little tangent. The next fragrance that I have here is from Locust. And this fragrance is Bouquet Encore, which I put inside of my box and I finally got a bottle of it because I absolutely love this fragrance. So, oh guys, this is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. For all of you watching me that fell in love with Rouge Malakite off of my recommendation, you have to try Bouquet Encore because for me, I just feel all of you ladies that loved uh, Rouge Malakite, you're going to absolutely love Bouquet Encore, not because they're the same fragrance at all by any means. I just feel like if you liked Rouge Malakite, you would definitely like Bouquet Encore. In this fragrance, you have some Sichuan pepper in the top, you have tuberose, you have jasmine, and you have vanilla. The vanilla is beautiful, the tuberose is incredible. The jasmine, I would say, is less prominent than the tuberose in here. The little pepper on top is just stunning. And the fragrance is incredibly sexy and feminine. Very, very sexy and very, very feminine. And it just smells beautiful, like absolutely beautiful, you guys. I love the mix of the florals with the vanilla. It smells delicate, it smells sexy, it smells very sensual. I am obsessed with this scent. It gets me a lot of compliments. I have worn it quite a bit, if you can see. Guys, it takes me a long time to make a big dent in a fragrance, but I have been wearing this one a lot and actually I have been layering it on top of my La Perla possibilities just for like an extra floral kick and it smells incredible. So Bouquet Encore from Locust, absolutely adore this fragrance. It just smells so beautiful and so feminine. So love, love, love. Next up, I have a fragrance from Oja and this fragrance is called Infusion Velour and oh... My god, is this fragrance incredible, you guys. Absolutely incredible. Just quickly to summarize, Oja is a brand that are oil makers. So they were only creating, up until recently, they were only creating oils. And they were beautiful, they were fantastic. But I think because they're a new brand, they actually come from Oman. And I think that they realized that they needed to make Eau de Parfum which I am so happy about because for me, I told you guys, I need to spray perfume. I can't just dab something on my skin and go. I need to spray my fragrance and I am so excited for all of the Eau de Parfums to launch from Oja because they are absolutely incredible. Now the fragrance that I have here, I only have one at this point in time, but it is a show-stopping fragrance. It is Infusion Velour and this fragrance, you guys, let me tell you, Wow, 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 wow. I think there is like some blackberry, there is raspberry, there is oud, there is some cinnamon, some pepper. But what I get is this quite dry, fruity oud. It's sweet, but very dark, very sexy, very mysterious. The fruity notes mixed with the oud and the spices and the dry kind of woody incense -y feeling Guys, this is a showstopper fragrance. For all of you that liked fragrances like Oud for Greatness from Inicio, you would absolutely love Infusion Velour. It is incredibly sexy. Dry, a little smoky, oudy, fruity. Wow, a 10 out of 10 showstopping scent. Longevity and projection, let's not even talk about it. It lasts way too long on the skin and it projects like a beast. Pierre has been wearing this one a lot recently, especially if we go out for dinner or something. He has really been pulling for this one. And my God, guys, when I tell you that this one is incredible on the skin, it is just magnificent. So Infusion Velour from Oja, if you wanted like this uh, fruity, like oody, smoky sort of scent, wow, this is amazing. Next up, we have Inseni from Bodicea the Victorious. 
I am totally in love with this fragrance. And now that I'm looking at what I included in this video today, I feel like I included a lot of fragrances appropriate for the fall and winter. And this fragrance is exactly that. In the fragrance, you have a lot of mirror. And for me, it smells very balsamic, resinous, it's a gourmand, but not going too far into the gourmand category. It's probably one of the most refined gourmands that I've ever smelled. Like I said, very uh, balsamic and resinous. There's also labdanum, there's some sandalwood. I think there's some florals in here. But what I get, guys, is a very uh, balsamic, almost a little bit chocolatey. I feel a slight chocolatey facet, but done in a very refined way and a very kind of resinous scent overall. It is absolutely a 10 out of 10 refined gourmand in my opinion. And it just smells so beautiful on the skin, especially now that we're coming into the cooler weather. This fragrance is perfection. Absolutely love it. 10 out of 10 in Senny from Bodice the Victorious. That is it you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video of fragrances that I am currently loving. I did have a 10th fragrance, but I'm not I just realized I'm not allowed to speak about it yet because it hasn't launched and I kind of looked on the brand's page and I thought that I was okay to speak about it, but I don't think so because it doesn't look like they're promoting the product at all yet. So hold tight because there is one extra fragrance that I'm completely obsessed with and enamored by, but I'm not allowed to talk about it yet. If you guys really trust me and believe in my taste, check out the jewelry brand because it is just exquisite and I would never talk about a product that I didn't love like I already said. So check it out. I will have the link to the brand down below and let me know if you do. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.